go. Here, now we're down to the uh, series that sounds like the uh, regular harmonic series, where this is two, three, four, five. One should be down there. It should be an octave below this one. But it isn't. It's actually way down here. That's. Uh, did I illustrate that? I'm afraid. I think I missed that. Uh, and uh, this is something that I wanted to show. You see that the, I showed the lowest mode, the lowest playable mode in the trumpet. Now that is this uh, one that's the the, the uh, one up there just below that one marked C4. That's the B flat. That's the lowest playable mode. But the actual lowest mode is the one that I get by putting a clarinet mouthpiece on it. Now that's, that's the bottom one down here, the one that's above C2. Now of course I can change the f tuning of that by pressing the valves. So I'm playing a trumpet down on the tuba range, but it, of course it isn't a very good sound down there. Well, the lips just won't vibrate that slowly for some reason, but you can make this one do it. Yes. Uh, why is it impossible to get the fundamental, that is what we call the pedal tone on the trumpet, but it is possible on the trombone? Uh, the reason is that uh, uh, even though uh, you don't have a mode which will vibrate at the frequency, that, that note there that's got the parentheses around it, that's uh, what I call sometimes a fictitious fundamental. It's one that appears to be. Yes. Low modes. Uh, I don't know. The effect of the bore is something that I can't uh, say anything about at the present time. The, the bores are fairly well standardized, but there are differences, and to what extent they. Uh, it's the length that's the important thing. The, the bore has more to do with how the instrument will be tuned and so on, whether the modes are in tune with each other and so forth. Oh, yes. Uh, the same thing that uh, uh, I said about uh, the wind instruments applies to organ pipes. There's been, uh, uh, well, organ builders have believed for several hundred years that the material makes a difference in the tone, and they think that tin makes the organ pipe with the best tone, but uh, I've looked into this too, as well as other people, and uh, uh, I repeated some previous experiments, and I came to the conclusion, just like others have, that the material of an organ pipe is of no consequence to the tone. Uh, one proof of that was this uh, friend of mine down in Texas, Paul Boner, who was an organist, who studied this matter by taking an organ pipe and chopping off uh, the pipe just above the mouth of it and arranging it so that he could put on cylinders of various materials. And this, of course, would keep the mouth geometry the same for different uh, tubes, but leave, uh, would allow you to use different tubes above it. And the mouth geometry is very critical to the sound of an organ pipe. And he found that it made no difference uh, what he used for a material for the pipe, even including a, a, a tube built up out of a layer of wrapping paper that he shellacked, just like, just like this thing. Uh, he had the chief organ uh, tuner, uh, organ voicer from Eulian Skinner down there, and he fooled him on that uh, wrapping paper pipe. <coughs> So when you don't know what you're listening to, you can uh, you have a hard time telling these things. So you don't have to make organ pipes out of tin. I guess the reason why tin is thought to be a good material for organ pipes, it's a very expensive metal. And that's when actually it should sound better, just like gold flutes. Yes? Is there a difference in the breakdown between like that square part of the tin? No. No, the reason with this is square is just it's harder to build a round tube out of pipe, out of wood. It's much easier to make one square and nail it and glue it together, whereas tubing, uh, metal, it's easy to roll metal up into a tube. Uh, actually, if you make a square metal pipe, that turns out to be one that does depend on the material because the walls can bulge quite easily and you can get some weird sounds out of a square metal pipe. They never make metal pipes square in an organ. 